Come on, yeah. Live? Oh yeah, baby. The Samster is live. Now that's a, uh, another word for the Salmon Hamster. The Samster. We're live! And I couldn't be happier. Today, on this special day, we're going to be escaping from Bronze 4. Hopefully. Maybe. We might escape from Bronze 4. It is possible. But just don't be don't be surprised if it doesn't happen. If we don't escape from bronze, that's just how it is. How how is that how's that music for how's that for the volume of the music, by the way, if anybody's here. I I have no clue. I can hear the stream, but I think I'm gonna turn it down slightly. Go like that, and then we'll close this. Looks about fine. I, I think we're good. I'm gonna do a quick warm up ARAM, and then we're gonna get right into it. I'm, um, I'm quite satisfied with, uh, how yesterday went, because I was able to finish my placements, um, I was able to finish my placements, get my rank, and this is awesome, you know, I got everything done. Oh, really? Okay, hold on. Let's get this, 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 then this. Easy. Easy, easy. Okay, so I actually have some interesting stats to share with anybody that's currently here. Really, my normal MMR is fourteen twenty three. That is interesting. I'm trying to figure out what it means to have fourteen hundred MMR. Okay, so, according to my normal games, I'm being placed in a round silver elo, consistently. But in ranked, it's placing me in low silver. Like, confidently low silver. Or, like, I'm being placed low silver, high bronze. Which makes total sense. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna make any statements about that. I belong in low silver. That is where I should be. So, perfectly fine. I'm satisfied with being low silver, high bronze MMR in my ranked because I haven't been playing much ranked. But, me being placed in low silver changes today. I'm going to be end up placing in maybe mid silver MMR. That sounds nice. Because I know I can carry a low silver game. I know confidently speaking I can carry a low silver game out oh, without much problem. But 
I'm just hoping I can get to around mid-silver before the game decides to cut me off and be like, you know what? You're really not good enough to be any higher than this. <laughs> Realistically, I don't think I'm actually good enough. Wait, so... I'm confused. So the ARAM map is in Freljord. Like, it's confidently Freljordian. Okay. Beautiful. This Vlad's playing risky for no reason. Easy. Literally not a problem. This is perfect. That's what we love to see. Nice, nice! Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, hey, George. No, no, that's understandable, George. Take your time, buddy. If you need, if you, if you, if you need to do blank shit and you don't have time to, to visit Salmon for a while, that is a okay by me. I literally have zero issues with that. I understand not having enough time to come to our streams. Just take your time about it, George. We'll see you when you. We'll see you when we see you. Which hopefully won't be too long from now. But yeah. Um, since if I still have you, George. Have a good rest of your day, bud. It's good to see you again. Hope to have you back regularly pretty soon. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful work. Careful, buds. Jesus. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Well, I'm excited to see it, George. I hope it goes well with your making another account. I'm not doing very well this game. Let's say okay. I'm not worried about it. You too, George. I'll see, I'll catch you around when you're on your new account. Excited to see you again. Oh shit, I just stood there like a bitch. Alright. Well, I'm doing really poorly. That's okay. I'll get back on it.
Alright. Not overly worried right now. I think we can just hang back for a while. A little bit of patience never hurt nobody. Perfect! Things are turning around for Salmon. He's a good old boy. Things are finally taking a turn for the better. And now I'm sitting on 3,000 gold! This is a real difficult little situation we got ourselves in right here. This is real bad. Beautiful little work we're doing here. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We take those. I needed to go back anyways. I had enough for my Infinity Edge. And almost enough for my Phantom Dancer as well. So it's like, wow. That's a heavy fucking back. I'm at 900? I can't wait for 900. Okay. We've got this. I've got my IE, I've got a zeal. Like, we sh we'll be able to fuck shit up. I'm very unworried about it. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's not go Static Shiv next. Let's start building towards... Dominic's wouldn't be bad. Easy.
Wait, where was I? I thought I was back here. Are you serious? I have no clue how I managed to get up there. Like, I was paying attention, I was like walking the right direction and doing everything properly, but I just kind of ended up in the mix. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to my character. Shit. Alright, you know what? Can't blame anybody but me for that. Sure you can handle me, summoner? Jesus Christ, get out your own ass. For three seconds, please. Damn it. We could have won that with way less casualties than we ended up having. That was pathetic. Gonna go Lord Dominique's into. I mean, honestly, I should probably just get, like, Death Stance Black Cleaver or Death Stance Bloodthirster. You've got dangerous eyes. I like it. Okay. That's fine. We'll take the damage I gave and hopefully they'll be able to do something out of it. If they'd focus the right fucking target for three seconds. Jesus, just go... When there's a fucking swarm of enemies, like, in our faces, you're supposed to go and kill the swarm of enemies in front of our face. Not focus on their backline and nothing else. Especially when you're, like, a tank. I don't know, maybe focusing the backline is something you want to do. But, it's really not helping anybody too terribly much right now. Alright. Okay. We might be able to get a tower. Finally. Only took us a year and a half. Holy! Yeah, I guess Akali is an assassin, isn't she? Come on, Eve. Alright, Eve. They're all pretty low health, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Spooky shit. Nice! 
We're doing good, we're doing good. Hopefully we can claim this tower. Perfect, perfect. Sitting pretty. Beautiful work. We are just dismantling them. Okay. Oh god. Oh, that's actually really bad. That might be it. We might have just lost the game. They might just be able to end off of that. I'm not going to complain about it or nothing. My damage was really fucking high. Yeah. I don't really think I got a lot to complain about. to go grab some tea because I finished my tea during that match and I need to refuel but hold on let me type a message so if anybody comes in there now everybody knows I'm getting tea see you He has been obtained. I am back to continue my ranked climb.
Oh yeah, there was a point in time where I thought that I really liked this particular song. It's still a really fucking good song. It's looking like a game where, since we have so much tank, we're gonna need, like... Let me ban, like, Echo. Uh, it's really confusing to me why any team would want to build this fucking tanky. Okay. It's just really confusing to me. Like, I look at this team and I think... We're not gonna be able to do shit. Ah. Uh... This is such a hard choice. I think I've got to go with Evelyn. Oh my god, they're so fucking tanky. I'm not going to be able to do anything against this team. Oh my god. This is pathetic. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I can kill one or two of the members of their team, and everybody else is more or less just unkillable for me. And that's really not good. Oh, Jesus, fuck. This is gonna be a really hard game. So, I, I'll at least explain my decision a little bit, so people understand what I'm doing here. I figure... With Jin, Nautilus, Darius, AD, Swain, Evelyn, AP. That was my that was my thought process. I was like, okay, let me pick some AP champs here. The interesting thing is, the enemy team is theoretically all AD. Every last one of them. So all we need to do is build AD items. And they have to split their defense. Because they're going to want to build uh, uh, they're gonna want to build armor for our Jin, for our Darius, not so much for our Nautilus, but like for them, right? And they're going to have to build um, MR for us, but we, across the board, can just build um, armor, and every last one of their members will be affected by it. So I'm going to be building for like armor based magic items maybe Morello's would be good this game because Ophelios um, he can get a shit ton of healing so Morello's wouldn't be a bad idea though it's not really the best on Evelyn she's supposed to be an assassin um, realistically I don't know what I'm going to do this game
This game's gonna leave me sweating. I can already tell this is going to be a rough game, but that's okay. Not every game needs to be easy. Okay, easy. Zonia's Morelos, um, then we build into uh, a Lich Bane and hopefully a Rabidant. Ah, oh, forget it. I was gonna go back and grab my Krugs, but I can just go for Krugs when I'm backing for, um, my first reset into my red. Oh, that is really bad. Onto a Felios having a first blood? Ugh. God, that's so bad. Okay, that was really bad on me, if I'm being honest. Like, I needed to be more careful there, and I let my our teammate die because I was being stupid. I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 we can take this motherfucker. And, like, yes, granted, we did, but it came at the cost of a life, and that's, like... Not my finest gank, but not like the end of the world or anything. I just need a winning game, a single winning, I just, I am not a winning game, I need a single winning lane. Wow. They're actually really on top of things. Our, our bot lane is doing way better than I thought they would. Fuck. We can't do anything!
I know this game seems like neutral right now, but I honestly feel like we're losing. But that's okay for now, I think. Like, theoretically, we outscale them. Let me actually think about that theory for just a second. Question mark, question mark. Do we outscale these guys? Ugh, it's so iffy. Because I know that my character, Evelyn, scales super hard, but all of these guys are going to end up being really tanky. So that me scaling really hard is actually more dependent on whether or not they build against uh, AP or AD threats. Hopefully they're going to build against AD threats because most of our team is AD. But it's such a fine line, like it's such a big, it's such a split. They could build either, and I would understand, like, I would understand the play. Okay. That's as well as I can play it. Mm hmm And there's no objective to trade that for. Why is this guy, like, hyper-aggressive? Damn it. That was probably the cleanest Evelyn R I've ever done. Okay. I have to build straight into Zonias, I think. Just because, like, I get my sword shoes soon, but if I build straight into Zonias, I can get my Seeker's Arm Guard. Okay, okay. Get my Zonia's Hourglass, that way I can save myself if I need to, and I get the extra armor off of it. It's beautiful, beautiful little, 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 little fighting there, you know?
Okay, that's fine. <coughs> okay, so this, um... Our Swain seems pretty defeatist, which is bad. It's like a really bad attitude to hold. Especially in a game that's like this close, having a defeatist attitude could more or less just mean we lose the game because he doesn't think we're gonna win. Not because we're going to lose, but because he doesn't think we're going to win. Which is a weird way to put it, but it's true. Like, having a defeatist attitude can more or less... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're living. We're living, we're living, we're living. And that's that's exactly what I need to do right now. Whew! Perfect, perfect. That was actually just beautiful. They 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 played that so well. That's so obnoxious. That's so obnoxious! I'll be honest, I think backing there was probably the bad, or like a bad idea. I think I made a bad play there, and that kind of led to us failing that. Please don't just abandon your lane. Nice! Alright, these boys slap shit, not gonna lie. Okay, our swing needs to be getting farm. I'm not even gonna touch the midway if he needs it all. Like, I don't wanna fuck over his chances of doing something with that. He, he needs that wave. Way, way more than I do. Okay. 
Sork shoes. Uh, let me grab the control board. Now we're out. Woo! Okay. Just making sure everybody's got their mind on the drag. That was fucking nuts. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking God. Ah, fuck! Nope. Shit. I get some sort of priority mid. This this game is over. I, I don't see us getting back into this in any way, shape, or form. Like, sure, they're all AD, but it's not like we actually. Oh, thank you, Andy. Unfortunately, we're losing really hard. I don't want to surrender, because that's lost ELO, obviously, but it's like, come on. Are we really going to be able to do this? Realistically, no. Like, I'd love to be hopeful and be like, oh, yeah, we got this. We're going to win. It's going to be so easy.
And we're throwing it. And we're throwing it. Instantly. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. What are you doing, not? You managed to kill their support. That's it. Okay. Andy, I'm really, I, I don't know how to get this through to you, but I'm just so not in the mood to, like, record anything with anybody. And it's not, like, a you thing. I'm not in the mood to record anything with anybody. It's an everyone thing. I just can't, I mean, like, in person. In person, I'm just, I'm not in and haven't been in the mood to record in person for forever. Please win this and take drag. I swear to God. I swear to God, you guys. No, Swain, fight that. Why wouldn't you... F what are you doing? You're not using your abilities. What are you doing? Use your abilities to fight the motherfucker. Are you fucking serious, Swain? Swain, we can't lose that drag. Oh my God. That's game. It's okay. Any game is technically carryable, which means that even though I don't feel like this is my fault, I don't know when the Ori video will get, um, like, done. If I'm being, like, 100% fully honest with you, I could not give you an answer to that question, and I'm sorry. I would love to answer the question. I don't know when it'll get uploaded. I don't know when it'll get, like... I, I'm trying to get better about, like, editing things. I'm just not good at it. Like, f making myself do it. It's not something I enjoy doing, so I don't make myself do it often enough. I recorded a bunch of shit that I'm going to actually, like, try to edit, and I'm gonna include that in 
like, I'm gonna include the Ori shit within that, just so that we can, like, try to get stuff out there and, like, work on it, but... God! We got our fucking asses handed to us, and there's nothing I could do about it! Fuck! Ah okay. That's fine. Not like I expected anything better. Minus 8 LP, that's not that bad. I should have been able to carry a game like that. That's honestly my fault. Not like my fault, my fault. Well, obviously my damage could have been better, but... Okay. We're running it again. We're gonna get another ranked game. Hopefully we'll win this one. You get more LP for winning a ranked game than you do for... than you lose for losing one. So when you lose a ranked game... You'll end up losing like 8 LP, but when you win one you'll get like 10 in like a really basic explanation that doesn't really fit what I'm actually trying to explain. Okay, hopefully I can play, like, one of these characters. I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of watch and wait. Looks like... I'm gonna get rid of Warwick. Um, hold on. Gragas? Evelyn? me. I didn't want to play with that group anyways. Ah, oh, shit. I should have declined. I should have declined. Now everybody's going to pick the same ass things. Oh, we didn't even get a clue as to what the other people would pick, so it's like, okay. I'm just going to wait to see what the team is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big flex, flex picker. I can, I, I can play anything. So, if they give me a good lineup for, like, a cane, which it looks like they're giving me, because we've got some tankiness mid, we've got some tankiness top, um, a lot of scaling, unfortunately. That could be bad. And no AP so far, so it might be better for me to pick, like, Evelyn. Oh! I got a text from my girlfriend. We're gonna need the AP. That's a foregone conclusion. The AP is necessary. Hopefully this will work out well. This is like an MR game just because casting the Ari. You 
Okay. I gotta piss real quick. I'll be right back. I need to make sure that everybody on my team understands that Lee Sin is crazy early and they need to be careful. We're itemizing into a very heavy, um... You know what? Instead of taking... I should be taking... Because I don't like Electrocute on Evelyn. It feels useless late game and I tend to build Evelyn for the late. So I should be taking, um... Dark Harvest instead. That makes way more sense. I'm not going to take Electrocute from now on. I'm going to take... Dark Harvest, and then I'm gonna run the, um... Yeah, no, that makes way more sense. Why would I ever take Electrocute and Inspiration? That's such a bad build for Evil. It's fine. Now that I know, I can just focus on working with Electrocute right now. And then... I got a ward pixel. Wait, what is this? What is Trind doing? Is he really just soaking XP? Oh god. He's pretending to be a jungler? I can't say I'm a fan of our Trind right now. Okay, Trend. If you really want to go in on her as soon as she's got a level advantage, I mean, who am I to tell you otherwise, huh?
Jesus Christ. I seriously don't understand what this Trindamir is trying to do. It's actually a little bit annoying. Like, I don't like it when I can't tell what it is that my laners are doing because it makes it a lot harder for me to properly, like, gank, you know? I need to remember that in order to get people's attention, I need to ping more than once. I can use this time to get a lead on Leeson. Also, the person who said they don't have a tank is wrong. Leeson becomes a tank in the late. 100%. So it's like, they have a tank. It's just gonna be like... A late on tank. That's the best I could give. I wanted to try to give our Jackson advantage in lane, and that's the best I could get. No, Jax, it's a back timer. You use it to... You need to back so you can get an item so you have at least some sort of advantage. Like, it's not gonna be good if you're in lane against a Fiara who's, like, gotten a kill on you. Dragon! Oh, that's such a bad trade! Okay, I just need to focus up. I can still get this to be a victory if I just really focus. Which sounds stupid, but it's true. Looks like the Trindamir's been doing fine, actually, despite his, uh, his weird early game cheese strat. It looks like he's doing fine.
No, 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 Trind, no, Trind, Trind, me, Trind, me, baby, honey. You don't need to go all in on shit like that. I just wanted a little bit of damage. And he took everything because he wanted it. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think this is another loss. This game is in a sorry state right now. Please get the kill, please get the kill, please get the kill. No! That's game. That's game. I, 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 I can't. This game is no longer winnable. Oh! Okay, this game is, this game is pathetic, Any. This, this game is absolutely pathetic. I, I don't know if I've been a part of, like, a worse game of ranked in my fucking life. Like, I go to do something, and then, like, three seconds later, the person that I'm trying to help ints or dies, and then I'm like, Come on, man, you just gotta, just gotta do an inch of damage, just a little tiny little prick of it, okay? And then nothing happens, and then nobody does any damage, and it's really funny. Like, trust me, it's actually hilarious. I don't understand how, how anybody could find it anything but absolutely freaking hilarious. Oh, come on, Trind. Oh, come on, Trind! Trindamir! Trindamir! You don't need to go all in on things like that! I'm not giving you chances for all ins! Uh, it's just, it's not even that. This is, like, ranked, so, like, I'm trying to go through it, and I'm like, okay, I can play ranked, I can do this, I can win, and it's not like I'm playing in high elo, because I'm bad at ranked. It's just that I can't, I can't carry for, oh, motherfucker. I just don't understand what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm, I'm wandering around the whole fucking map trying to help people. And every instance I see to help somebody, they're already dead. And it's like, alright, cool. So we were gonna get a kill here, but you're dead. Or we were gonna get a kill here, but you uh, are really, really close to death. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't understand this. It's like the game was impossible the moment we started it, and that's like the worst feeling. It's like when you started a game of League of Legends, but you can't ever see it coming to like a point where you can win. Just because of like how impossible every single lane feels. This is just a really hard game. Like, I guess I really can't get angry at the people I'm playing with, because this game is just uh, absurdly difficult. Like, nothing has been going our way. Every lane feels just pathetically lost. From the moment it starts, every lane just feels like it's immediately over. Oh god, no, 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 no! Jesus. 
Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's just a really difficult game. It's just a really, really difficult game. It's it's not any particular person's fault. It's just we're in just a really hard game right now, and like theoretically we could eventually come back into it, but but looking at like what's going on, you see like this character, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia just becomes gigantic some ways into the game. Um and there's like no stopping her. Uh this character, Fiora. Fiora's already gigantic. They, we, she didn't need to get there. She was there from like five minutes. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Oh my god. And now Jax is taking my blue. You know what? He can have it. To be honest, this game is over. I fucking hated that. That was one of the most atrocious games of League of Legends I have ever played. And I don't even think that, like, it was my responsibility there. I don't think that I was necessarily to blame. I think the whole fucking team threw themselves in the garbage bin. And, like, there's just nothing I could have done about that. I, I seriously don't know how I could have made that any better. It was more or less lost from the moment it started. Perfect little game. Perfect, perfect second game to start the day off with. It's been nothing but losses so far today. It's making me really happy. God, it's it's infuriating, actually. That I can't get, like, a good team that can't, like, you know, play the game. Because I'm a jungler, so unless I just want to spend the entire game in the jungle doing nothing, I need to be ganking my lanes. And it's not like the enemy jungler did well either. They were really shitty. But, like, the enemy jungler just was, like, a much stronger early game chip. And a lot of my laners just threw themselves into them, thinking they could kill them. But I warned at the beginning of the game, I was like, Lee Sin's really strong early, so you guys just need to back off and be careful, okay? Thank god we got a tank already, and these are really easy too, and there's the obligatory. Okay. I mean, sure, eventually, but when's the good game gonna come, huh? Another thing about, like, this particular elo is, like... It, I just don't feel like I'm ever going to get a team that understands team composition, which is fine. They don't need to understand team composition if we're this low in ELO. So, like, for instance, you can check right here. Garen is AD. Caitlyn, AD. Yasuo, AD. I don't know who our support's going to play. I'm just hoping that they pick an AP support. Because that is, that is all I need. I just need one AP support. They will be able to help me carry this game if they play the game properly, you know? It's like, you just kind of have to not int, that's all. Now I need to get a Lilia build up because I hardly ever play Lilia, but like she's the, one of the only good tanky junglers who's also AP that I know about. And it's not like I'm very good at Evelyn, and Evelyn hasn't been doing me well these last couple games, so. Okay.
<sighs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you two, will, you two will carry me. What was I thinking? It'll be the easiest little situation you ever seen. It'll just be like you and Larry carrying me through bronze, obviously. God, it's just pathetic. I mean. I just want to be able to play my Kha'Zix or my Kane and not get banned or have to play an AP character because the entire team is going nothing but AD, so I have to pick AP. I'm forced to. It's like, come on, man. Just give me one. Just give me one. That's all I'm asking. <sighs> that is true. What I need to do is I need to... There's a mindset you've got to have when you're playing ranked. And that's that everybody else is bullshit. Don't focus on them. You're the only person that matters. Win the game. So, like, I need to focus on getting myself kills and getting myself ahead instead of seeing that... My mid laner needs help and immediately rushing from like blue buff to mid. I get my blue buff and if mid is still in danger, I can walk to mid. Who gives a shit? Right? Like if it if it's if it's a high percentage play, sure. Anyways, yeah, go make dinner. Go make dinner, Annie. You got this. I believe in you. Dinner at three? Okay. <sighs> okay. I've got near zero faith. There's literally no reason to get anything but blooming blows. It's literally the only useful thing. This is another weird thing, is that when the bot lane is trying to leash for you, they just kind of follow you the whole time and don't do anything. Okay. I'm gonna get it this time. I swear to fucking Christ, I'm gonna get it. If I don't win this game, I'm gonna shit myself. I've gotta get used to the idea of losing. Okay, so between, like, PBE and the actual release, Lilia, they definitely nerfed her. 
Because, at, like, PvE Lilia was actually insane. Her, like, her movement speed was insane. Her attack speed was insane. Everything about pre-release Lilia was just absurd. She, feel, she felt, like, so overpowered. Looks like she's probably a champion who requires, like, level 3 to get online now. Who got first blood? It doesn't look like we got first. No, we got first blooded. It was our Caitlyn bot. Damn it. You hate to see it. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much for dying to Kaisa. I said it before and I'm... I'm sticking by my word. I'm not doing anything that's going to make me worse. I'm just going to get better myself. If I if I if my teammates are losing, they're losing. I can't do anything about that. Hey, AJ. They made you a sandwich. Make me a sandwich? I'm so proud of them, AJ. They finally figured out what you needed, and they gave it to you. I'm so proud of them, AJ. AJ, you should give them a big, fat, slobbery, wet, flat, fat, fat, slobbery, wet kiss, fat, fat kiss. Fat, big fat, hey fat, listen fat, look fat, kiss. Okay. So I know when I get back up I can go take raptors and then dip into his bot side jungle for his Krugs probably, not his Krugs. Yeah, just hey lab, look fat, listen fat, and then give him a big ol' kiss. Give them a kiss right on their little fucking noggins. Right on their tiny little fucking foreheads. Give them a fat, slobbery, wet, fat, fat, slobbery, slobbery, wet, fat kiss. I do actually need to shut them down bot lane. So hopefully our bot lane doesn't end right now. And I can run there and, like, get them to die. Just remember not to int. Just remember not to int. Just remember not to int. That's all you need to do. Remember not to int. Just remember inting not good. Winning good, inting bad.
Ah, uh, fucking... How is she so fucking strong? No, I whiffed that. That's my bad. I'll be honest. That was so my bad. I could have done so much better there. Come on, Yas. If, even if you have to flash forward, it's not a bad idea. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die, don't die. If you get hit by- if you get hit once, you're dead. Jesus, fuck! I thought he was gonna help me! No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We just lost again. Oh, I'm, like, I'm really annoyed. I'm really annoyed. Like, really annoyed. Because the Echo's gonna outscale me, the Asuka's not gonna get shit, the Caitlyn's not gonna get shit, the Ari's not gonna get shit. It's like we don't have scaling on our team, so the scaling on their team is going to outdo us no matter what we do. It's not like we have an option. We just lose. It's great! I love losing. Okay. Oh! We might be able to win. It's theoretically possible. You don't want to farm till mid in, in this particular game. Because, like, if you look at the scaling that the enemy team has, you can see, like, oh, hey, they outscale us. We lose the late game. It's not something that they win. So why would they be trying to... I don't get it. You don't play for mid if there's no mid to play for. If the enemy's going to end up outscaling you, what's the point of trying to play for a mid that's not going to be good for you? Okay. If that's the way the game is going to go, there ain't much I can do about it. I just need to itemize against their strongest, which is for tabbies. It's the best I can do. Unfortunately, it's actually a bot diff.
Thank you. They shouldn't be able to be doing a drag right now. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I'd love to do drag, but it's not like we can right now. They're all back up. I need to get bigger. It's still a problem that I'm focusing too much on my teammates who are already lost. Like, I don't need to focus on people who are already losing the game. So focusing on bot side isn't really going to do anything for me if they're already inting. Like, sure, I'd love to shut down Kai Sa, but that's not like I have the ability to do that. They're pinging now, which is way better than what they were doing before, which is nothing. I just didn't expect him to round the corner. I thought he would just take my blue and leave it there. Listen, you can fight that. You can fight that. Or don't. I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat, man. You can do whatever makes you happy, I guess. I'm gonna go take my blue. No, no, he's got his, he's got his R. He's got his R. He can do, he can do shit. If you don't kill him, he does shit. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was the first Drake of the game, which isn't exactly good. Jesus. I guess they didn't have to turn. Oh! I am groaning because I don't have anything. I am Gronius Jonesy.
Okay, they don't know I'm here. Whatever. They see me coming, they see me coming. It's not like that changes anything. <sighs> this game's exhausting, but it's not over. Unfortunately, the bot lane is the one that's saying, like, no to this FF vote, which is stupid because they're the reason we need to FF. It's not like anybody else is the reason. It's the bot lane, really, who kind of just inted everything away. Thank you. That's all right, that's all right. Next is my Morellos. We might be able to. This is a theoretically winnable game. We just like it's just gonna be difficult because they're making it difficult. More difficult than it has to be. They're yelling at each other and getting really pissed and about like nothing more or less. Okay, that was entirely my bad. I just don't want to... Ah, ah. The Yasuo is doing exactly what he needs to do. He should be completely ignoring us. We don't. He, he doesn't need to be focusing on the fact that we just did that. No, don't focus on that. It was my bad. God fucking damn it. Uh, we're not really winning. It's a theoretical kind of thing right now where it's like, oh, we might be able to win if we try really, really hard. But nobody in this game is going to actually try really, really hard. God, fuck. Ah, it's game. It's game over.
Yeah, I think we should FF. I think we should surrender. I think this game is over. Generally speaking, I agree with our team that we are... I agree with the Yasuo that this game is over. It's still theoretically winnable. I just don't want to be here anymore. You know? Like, I feel like that almost every game where it's like, alright. You know, like, yeah, theoretically winnable. But also, please, can we just not be in this game anymore? That kind of thing. Why do my auto attacks not do any? <laughs> That's a kill. Good. Well done. This game is pathetic. I hate being in games like this. It's just such a hard fucking game right now. Winning feels nearly impossible, even though it's not, and, like, it's still able to be grasped. It's just sort of, like, I don't know. It always feels bad to be like, oh, yeah, we can win if we just get the best possible outcome every single time. You know what I mean? Plus, it's like their team scales way harder than we do. I pressed R, you fucker! Oh! <laughs> I pressed R in the game that didn't register it! That would have been such a good R. I was just getting greedy because I wanted the I wanted the Kai Sai in it as well, because that would have been like This is another loss. There's nothing I can do about it. And like at this point it's like do I really deserve this win with my score? No. But we have to give that dragon, too. Wait, okay, so, so here's the problem with being in, like, low silver and wanting to carry, is technically, every game is winnable. Theoretically, you could win every single game in low elo without a single issue if you're just really fucking good. It doesn't matter. Like, I could easily carry this game if I could just for once be able to get a camp a camp a, cha a champion that I play on a regular basis and I'm really good at like for instance um I'm really really good at Kane I'm really really good at Kha'Zix but the biggest problem is when it comes to like team comp I can't make a team comp that's good unless I sacrifice my own a, my own, like, favorite champions for this. I mean, it is what it is, right? You win some, you lose some. I just want a single game today where I get to play Kane or Kha'Zix or some character that I'm actually good at and, I, you know, the team comp doesn't completely counter me. Like, I could play Kha'Zix and I could completely smurf on a game and kill everybody, but I just need to be able to have my Kha'Zix. Look, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be in Iron 1 before I know it, you know? 
Like, it's just gonna slowly eke me towards Iron 1, and then I'm gonna be in Iron 1, because there's nothing I can do. So I'm just gonna... You know what? I'm throwing caution to the wind. I'm not going to pick my champion based on team comp, because I've been trying to do that, but I think what, what I need to take away from the fact that the times that I tried to do that, it didn't work, is that building based on team comp in low elo is useless, because your team is going to int, and there's nothing you can do to control that. They're going to throw themselves into fire and kill themselves without thinking. It's just going to happen. So trying to control that's pointless. I should just play a champion I'm good at and run with it. Like watch, this is a this is a vague arm mid. I have my either so here's what'll happen with the vague arm mid. He's either going to completely run over the game because the mid laner he's against is inting to him, or alternatively, within the first five minutes, he'll be 3-0. and Because Vagar is such a squishy motherfucker, if the enemy mid laner chooses anything with any early game presence, this Vagar is going to go 3-0. and Okay. Alright, here we go. And the Vagar is probably gonna leave. Let's see, does the Vagar dodge? Does the Vagar dodge? Go on, buddy. If you're gonna dodge, do it. Hit the little X button at the top of your screen. Come on. You got this. Hit the X button, man. Do it. Dodge. I have every faith that this man can dodge this video game. Okay. So far, it's looking like a red cane. Do he'll dodge because he doesn't have his mid laner, so he, he can't... He's a Vagar main, right? So if he's hovering Vagar right from the start, he's going to dodge if somebody chooses his Vagar. We got lucky. Apparently, he also plays Orianna. And I'll be honest, Orianna, a much better character. Much better. I well... Oh, you fucker. I'm gonna go pee real quick. I'll be right back. I just peed in my pants. Okay, back home. Any invade potential on these fuckers? Not really.
I'm gonna go grab my charger. Charger. My phone's on like the verge of death, so. Oh, or rewarded. Uh, interesting. I don't really see the point of warding, especially if you're already in Pixel Brush. Just don't ward Pixel. It's kind of a useless ward. I did not stream myself pissing, I'm sorry. Wait, I wasn't even looking, it's Jinx MF bot? Oh, shit. Okay. I've actually got to focus this game, unfortunately. I don't like focusing. Wait a minute. I have to use my brain cells! That was a waste of mana. Okay. Easy. Whew. My COD gameplay is gonna be fucking clean, just you fucking wait. I'm the cleanest COD in the fucking world. It's not actually true, but... I'm a much cleaner Ka than I am a Lily or an Evelyn. Because I know when I can and can't do stuff as Kha'Zix. But on Evelyn and uh, Lilia, I'm a lot less confident. So, like, I don't know when I can and can't do things. Perfect! Good start! Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Ben. I'm a lot more confident on Kha'Zix, though. I, I am, like, very aware that, like, on a... Like, since I'm a decent Kha'Zix, I can pretty much smurf Ka. Like, I know the champion, like, the back of my hand. Hold on. Okay, Kane just took it, which means we might be able to fight over the bot scut. Hmm, Kane's farm is better than mine, but I did stop for a kill, which means even that 4CS isn't going to put him ahead of me. It's just going to put him... It's going to put him slightly behind me. Okay, they're actually pinging well, and, like, they know what they're doing. This is really surprising. Like, the bot lane's doing well, despite the fact that... Does she really want me to go for this, like, right now? Serious? It's not a good idea, you know. Like, if she were to engage it, I would probably follow, just out of the principle that, like, 
hey, you know, like, maybe we can do something here because we have, like, bot side. But she wasn't seeming like she wanted to make, like, a fit about it, and it wasn't, like, a huge objective of hers. And sure, I got a kill, but I don't have my items off of that kill yet. So going for it would be, like, a stupid idea, I think. Alright, my team seems surprisingly competent this game. You don't need to hard shove the wave, that's a bad idea. Is he actually on it? I don't think so. <sighs> Oriana died mid. Yeah, I didn't think they'd stay. Let's see. Okay, I can just hit F3 if I need to see bot side. Easy. I feel like Kane is topside right now. I don't know which one of his camps are up. I'm decently confident that Kane is topside right now. I just wish I could see him. He might, he might be clearing my topside jungle, or... Okay, I know where Kane is now. That's something I need to work on as well. Because if Kane is topside, then I theoretically probably awarded this question mark. No, he could kill me, he could kill me, he could kill me. Woo! Okay. That was actually real scary. But I'm good, I'm good, I'm safe. Did take my red, that's not surprising, but that means that I took the red off of him when I killed him. And he was low health from it, so it made it really easy to take him. Beautiful. There's no way he starts it, right? Oh man, they're starting it.
That's unfortunate. Well, at least I denied it to them instead of giving it over, which is good. Um, looking heavy AD, I'll grab that, and then that, and these. Easy! Easy itemization, not gonna lie. Pretty easy. Okay. My car is nasty, not gonna lie. My car is absolutely disgusting. My car is fucking gross, dude! I'm literally 7 and 0 right now. My car is the grossest thing alive. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I know exactly what to do now. If I focus specifically on getting, um, Powers right now, then I should theoretically be able to close this game out uh, at the next rift. Nothing is up for me right now. Seems I just have to go off of fucking low percentage plays that I don't have influence over. Which is kind of shitty. Ma that mouth really thinks that Oriana didn't see her. See him? I mean, come on, man. In a minute's time, we get that. Definitely got this warded. Ugh. Nice.
Ah, fuck it. No, no, no. Oh my god. That damage is actually crazy. Please be careful, you guys. Please. You're both ADCs. Oh, fuck! I didn't even fucking see him! <laughs> okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid and I wasn't paying attention. If I had been paying attention, I would have been fine. I just want to see how many stacks of phenomenal power this fucker has, okay? Literally, just let me see how many stacks of phenom. I, I can't tell. He's just got a lot of AP. It's... Uh, I didn't think he'd be a problem! I seriously thought he'd be a non-issue. I haven't itemized towards him at all. We could lose this game off of nothing but objectives if we're not careful. That's good. They just put full my ignite on them. It's really mm, sad. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think we're gonna lose this game! I can't stand that! What the fuck is our problem? We shouldn't be losing this game this hard! Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. If we lose, we lose. Uh, it's just really obnoxious, because we should win this game pretty fucking easy. This game should be an easy victory for us, but it's it's incredibly challenging. I honestly feel like uh, it's 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 a game that is definitely winnable, but it feels like oh god, we already lost this game. Are you kidding me? Fuck. They're playing a really weird game where they're just constantly sitting in our bushes. And, like, I think they just know we don't have any wards in our bushes. Like, they're 100% confident we haven't warded a single fucking bush. And they're not wrong. They're just not wrong. We actually don't have anything warded. Like, they're barren. Our jungles. Everybody has wards, they're just not using them. Beautiful little job here, beautiful little job. All right.
weird to say, might need to get a ghost blade just so I can, like... Not a ghost blade. That was such a bad MF ult. We need people to cover. Oh god. I know they're going to take Dragon. Why did you all rotate top? If you think they're going to take Dragon, you don't have the entire fucking squad roll up top lane. I was going top to try to stop them, but I was the jungler, and I knew nobody else was going to respond, so I go top. I go top, and I'm like, okay, cool. We got this. Now Kane already has it. Check this out. Three. Yep. I didn't even need to count to three. Yeah, I know. Sometimes the way that people play in this elo just whacks me out. Because I'm like, man, I know what y'all need to do, but I just can't, I can't expect it of them. It's almost always a situation where it's like, hey, we're playing the game, we're having a good time, we're having some laughs, you guys need to go to Dragon. And nobody in their right fucking mind ever goes to Dragon! Even though it's the only objective we need them to go to, they just don't show up. Never! Literally never do they show up and actually do the objective. It's, it's an exceptional amount of distaste for playing the game properly. And it kind of astounds me. Oh, I'm a Kongus! <laughs> that was entirely my fault, and I was gonna jump the wall. Yep, because our entire jungle is warded, and there's nothing we can do about it. Because nobody has. Okay, hold on. Oh, God! E even the difference between this and before doesn't matter! If my entire team is, like, not buying wards or counter wards. Okay, looks like the MF does have her counter ward. <sighs> it's just really obnoxious. I don't know what we're supposed to do anymore. This game feels completely out of our hands, like we already lost, and there's nothing we can do, and it's weird, because we're clearly winning the game in a sense, like we were winning up until like 10 seconds ago, and now everybody's just dying and throwing their lives away and not being where they need to be. It's weird. It's really fucking weird that nobody seems to like want to play the game. I don't think I'll ever understand it. Alright, I figured out what the problem is. I've been relying too much on my teammates again. Even though I clearly know that's not something I can do. I've been relying on them to do too much. I just need to play the game by myself now. I can't rely on my teammates to do anything, so it's just me. Me, myself, and I. Relying on my team was a mistake from the start, so I'm not going to do it anymore. As far as I'm concerned, my team does not exist.
This is such a debatable situation. There's one AP threat on their entire team. I can't honestly argue doing anything but getting a Death Stance right now. Death Stance is the only viable option, so I'm getting a Death Stance. Okay. We need this. Now we see exactly what happens the moment I stop letting my team do things. I just do better! Because my team sucks! I don't need them! Letting my team do anything is an innate mistake. Like, they're obviously just not good enough to do anything. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna let them. I'm literally just gonna take everything. Well, that was a mistake on my part. I should have known that Jax was up and I should have played careful around it. But instead, I just threw myself in. And he got a 400 gold bounty. That's bad because he's Jax. Jax can absolutely fucking murder people. So, that's my bad. I fucked up. I'll take the blame for that one. Nobody could have nobody could have saved that and it's nobody's fault but mine. It just sucks to have to be my entire team, I guess, but I think it's like the entire point of playing solo queue is that you are the team and you can't rely on anybody else to play the game. That's fine. I've got this, I think. Oh my god, he's level 17? Holy fucking Christ. I think my focus right now is doing me well. Obviously, like, the more focused you are, the better you'll do. That's an obvious little, like, equation. Oh. Please don't auto attack Jax when he's in this thing. Please. Oh my god. Oh, please, please, please. Oh. Thank fuck. They need to push. They can't just sit around and do nothing. This is a situation where we're all ultimately outscaled no matter what we do. Jax and Vagar are going to eventually completely destroy us, and there's nothing we can do about that. So we just need to focus on the now and get shit done. The, right now, she needs to back. 
She can't be fucking around. Yeah, get out of there. Good idea. Please, 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 please. Remember it's Jax. Remember it's Jax. Remember what Jax does. For three fucking seconds, remember what Jax does. He's a hyper carry. Oh no, what are you doing? 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 Jesus fucking Christ, you guys. It's not Morellos or Executioners. His healing isn't the pro- It's the problem that he's Jax. He can 1v5. We need to think about that. Sacrifice my current idea so I can get Wits End. That's the game. That's the game. We just lost. That's it. We lost the game. I can't win. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many games.
I can't believe even if I'm hard fucking carrying, we still lose! Hard carry in silver, get an incredible score, and your entire team ints and you lose the game. Perfect. Oh my fucking god. It's what it is. It doesn't matter how many times I fucking play it. I, I, I'm just gonna lose. I'm, I'm done with ranked for today. I'm done. I'm not gonna touch another fucking ranked game. It's pissing me off too much. There's no reason to. If I'm just gonna lose, I'm just gonna lose. I, I'm not gonna fuck around with the ranked. It's just gonna make me angry and lose. I'm, I'm done for today. That's the end of the stream. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna go to the stream and end it. I have no interest in continuing. L ranked League of Legends has thoroughly pissed me off. As it does most people, I like to think. So, I mean, good job for it, I guess. Where do I view this in the fucking studio? More options? Just show me where I can... I just wanna... I just wanna... I just wanna leave! I want to end the stream! There. That's it. Stream's over. Thank you for watching, everybody.